restaurant. Good evening. I'm Sarah, your waitress today. Quite, sir. Can I see your menu, please? Of course, sir. Thanks. Well, there are a lot of delicious dishes I can't choose. Do you have some recommendations? Do you like tuna? I quite like it. So today's special is grilled tuna. It is so fresh. Would you like to try it? Sounds good. I'll have that. Sure. And what about you, sir? Do you have pasta? Yes, we have it. I tried pasta here. It's excellent. I'd recommend that. Great. So I'll have the spaghetti and meatballs dish. Do you want to try some salad, Alex? We can share it. It sounds good. We'll get one salad. And please don't put in black sesame. I am allergic to black sesame. I got it. Would you like an appetizer? I'm good. How about you, Alex? I'll have pumpkin soup. Great choice. What would you like to drink? I'll take a glass of red wine. I'll have a glass of water, please. Sure. Your food will be served in 20 minutes. I'll get the drinks first. Great. Thanks. At the bank. Hello. How can I help you? I have some problems with the app of the bank. What happened? I forgot the password and the app said I had to go to the bank. I got it. Could you please take my password back? I really need to use the app. No problem. Can I know your name? John Wikes. Can I see your identity card? Here is my identity card. Thanks. I will check your account on our bank website. Yes, please. I just bought a new phone and logged in all the apps, but I forgot the password of the bank. I tried several times and now it's locked. You should note your password somewhere safe in case of situations like this. I know. The password you set should be easy to remember, but not too easy to guess. If it's too simple, someone can hack your account and take all the money. I'm so nervous about that, too. I will reset the password for you now. It won't take much time. Thank you. May I have your phone number? It's 314 Seven three nine one five three one. Thank you. Your new password will be sent to your phone. So can I log in on my phone now? Yes, with the new password. Oh, it worked. You should change the password now to something familiar to you and only you know it. I got it. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for using our service. Have a nice day. Good morning. The aroma in here is absolutely heavenly. Good morning. Thank you for the compliment. We're glad you're enjoying the scents. How can I assist you today? Well, I am looking for some treats for a small get-together I'm hosting this weekend. Any recommendations? Of course. We have a variety of options. Our freshly baked croissants are always a hit, and our fruit tarts are perfect for sharing. 
we also have a new chocolate cake that's been getting great reviews. Those all sound tempting. I think I'll go with a dozen croissants and a couple of fruit tops. Great. And that chocolate cake you mentioned, could I see it? Certainly. Let me show you. It's rich and moist, topped with a luscious ganache. We can customize it with a message or decoration if you'd like. It looks fantastic. I'll take one. Can you write, Happy Birthday, Lisa, on it? My niece's birthday is coming up. Absolutely. I'd be happy to do that. When do you need these treats? The get-together is on Saturday, so I'll pick everything up. Friday afternoon. Noted. Your order will be ready for pickup on Friday. Is there anything else you need? That should be all for now. Thank you for your help. You're welcome. We look forward to seeing you on Friday. Enjoy your get-together and the delicious treats. Thank you. I'm sure everyone will love them. Have a great day. You too. If you have any questions before Friday, feel free to give us a call. At the department store. Bye, Mino. Nick, it's so strange. Why are you here? I need to buy some stuff. My wife isn't at home. Oh, that explains it. Do you know where the shoe store is? I can't find it. Oh, what kind of shoes do you want to buy? My wife reminded me to buy a new pair of shoes for my son. I'm not sure, but it's probably on the fifth floor. I can't find the perfume store either. I think we'll need help from the staff. Right. See you later. Okay. Bye. Can you help me, please? Sure. How can I help you? There are a lot of stores here. I don't know how to choose. Do you want to buy for yourself or for someone else? No, not for me, for my son. How old is he? He's seven years old. He likes green. There are some pairs of shoes that may suit your son. This one looks good. Do you have size 8C for kids? Let me check the stomach. Here you are, a size 8C in green. Green, thanks. I will take them. Sure, let me help you wrap it. At the bookstore. Nice to meet you at our bookstore. What kind of book are you looking for? Is your bookstore newly opened? That's right. We just opened last week and we have some discounts for you. That's great. I want to find some cookbooks for my mom and some novels for me. Please follow me this way. There is a wide range of cookbooks on this shelf. I've read this book, and I learned a lot of recipes from this book. Wow, I think it's great. I will buy it for my mom. Where are the novels? I'll show you. This is the novel aisle. Wow, a lot of books. Yes, and there are many famous novels. Oh, my. This is the book I've been looking for. I am reading it, too. 
Do you have a book called The Great Gatsby? I remember we have that book. Let me find it for you. Here it is. Great. I will take it as well. We are having a 20% off sale when you buy five books in any genre. Oh, that sounds good. I'll have a look at other genres. Thanks for your support. I got it. Please call me if you need anything. Thank you. At the zoo. Did you hear about what happened at the zoo yesterday? No. What happened? It's crazy. A few animals managed to escape from their enclosures. Oh my goodness. Are they dangerous animals? Did anyone get hurt? Luckily, no one got hurt, and most of the animals were non-threatening, like a group of small monkeys and a couple of goats from the petting zoo. Well, that's a relief. But it must have been quite a scene with animals wandering around the city. Definitely. The zookeepers and local authorities worked together to round them up. They even had to temporarily close the park to ensure everyone's safety. How did the animals manage to escape in the first place? It seems there was a tree that fell during a storm, damaging the perimeter fence in a section of the zoo. It's a reminder of the importance of maintaining the enclosures and being prepared for unexpected events. I'm sure the zoo staff learned a valuable lesson from this incident. I hope they take extra precautions to prevent something like this from happening again. I'm sure they will. The safety of both the animals and the visitors is their top priority. It's a relief that everything was resolved without any harm. Definitely. I'm planning to visit the zoo next week when everything is back to normal. It'll be interesting to see how the animals are doing. That sounds like a great idea. I'll join you. I'm curious to see the zoo's response to this incident and how they've improved security. How about we wrap up our visit to the aviary? I enjoy watching birds, especially the colorful and exotic ones. Sounds like a delightful way to end the zoo trip. Let's head to the aviary and see those beautiful birds. So that's the plan. At the gym. These deadlifts are really getting intense today. My back is feeling the burn. Tell me about it. Deadlifts are fantastic for overall strength, but they can be tough. I've been working on my form. It's crucial to get it right, especially with heavy weights. Make sure to keep the form to prevent any injuries. Absolutely. Speaking of form, I noticed you were doing those pull-ups with such smooth control. Do you have any tips for improving my pull-up form? Pull-ups can be challenging, but they're fantastic for upper body strength. Focus on engaging your lats and core and try to avoid swinging. If you're struggling, you can use resistance bands to assist you until you build up more strength. Great advice. I'll definitely try the resistance bands to help me work my way up to unassisted pull-ups. And don't forget to listen to your body. It's essential to give yourself adequate rest and recovery time. You're right. It's easy to get caught up in pushing hard, but rest is just as crucial for progress. And if you ever need a spotter or want to try some new exercises, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks. I appreciate that. No problem at all. We're all on this fitness journey together. Let's keep pushing ourselves and celebrating each other's achievements. (laughs) 
at the train station. Wow, it's quite busy at the train station today. That's right. I hope we don't have any issues getting our tickets. Yeah, good thing we arrived with some time to spare. Let's hope the ticket machines are working smoothly. True. We don't want to miss our train. I've heard they've been upgrading the trains on this line, so the trip should be comfortable. That's good news. It's been a while since I've taken the train. I've also heard that they've made a lot of improvements in their service. Speaking of which, did you check the departure time and platform? We wouldn't want to rush around last minute. Yes, I did. Our train is scheduled to depart at 1.30 p.m. from Platform 3. We still have an hour, so we should be fine. Great. That gives us some time to grab a quick snack or a drink from the station's cafe. I'm getting a bit hungry. Sounds like a plan. I could use a cup of coffee to keep me awake during the journey. It's a nice way to pass the time while we wait. I love that feeling of anticipation before a journey begins. The excitement of arriving at a new place, the sights, the experiences, it's all part of the adventure. Absolutely. Let's make the most of this trip. Who knows what interesting moments or conversations await us. At the hair salon. Hi, how may I help you? I'd like to get a haircut and maybe try something different this time. Of course, please sit down. Do you have any particular style in mind or just looking for a change? I'm thinking of going a bit shorter. Maybe a layered cut with some texture. What do you think? That sounds like a great choice. It'll suit you. A layered cut can add volume and movement to your hair. And it's versatile, too. Great. And I want something different. Have you considered having specific highlights or coloring? I'm open to suggestions. Maybe some subtle pink highlights to add a touch of warmth? Perfect. I think pink highlights would complement your hair beautifully. We can create a natural look that enhances your current color. Awesome. Let's do it. I'm excited for a change. Oh, and I've been having some issues with frizz. Do you have any recommendations for products or treatments? Sure thing. I'll use a smoothing serum after the haircut to help with frizz control. That sounds fantastic. Are you ready? May I start now? Yes, I'm ready. At the hospital. Hello, how can I help you? I have a follow-up appointment with the doctor in the orthopedic department. Can I know your name, please? Robert San, 30 years old. Okay, I see your name here. You have an appointment with your primary doctor, Ms. Emily, at 10 a.m. today, right? Yes. Yes. Your checkup room will be room 202. The doctor will be ready in 15 minutes. Thank you. Good morning. How are you doing? Quite good, Miss Emily. Let me see. Did you take all my previous prescriptions properly? Sure. I always remember to take medicines. Of course, I hope this leg will heal soon. Your broken bone is healing pretty well. Yeah, I can feel it myself. The injury is recovering well. It may be completely recovered in about a week or two. Oh, thank God. 
I am fed up with using the crutch when I'm moving. It's so inconvenient. I know, but using a crutch helps you fix the leg and it's good for recovering. I got it. I will try my best. There's nothing much for your case. I'll prescribe medicines for you. This time will be a little different. Okay, thank you. Hope you get well soon. See you next week to check this leg again. I hope this leg will be totally recovered next week. Right. At the laundromat. Hi, I'm here to pick up my clothes. Sure. Can I have your name? It's Andrea. When did you drop off your clothes? Just two days ago. All right, let me check. Ms. Andrea. All right, let me check. Ms. Andrea. Here you go. Hey, there's been a mix-up. These aren't my clothes. What's wrong? These aren't mine. I don't own any jeans, but there are some in here. Oh my goodness, really? Yeah, I just picked it up, but then I realized these aren't mine. I'm really sorry about the mistake. Excuse me, these aren't mine either. That's probably mine. Yeah, I think so too. Here you go. What's your name? Andrea. Got it. We have the same name, so they mixed up our stuff. I'm really sorry for this. No problem. It happens. The clothes were still clean and smelled great. I've been using the services here for almost a year. They're really careful with every item. Absolutely. And the prices are reasonable, too. Thanks for saying that. I'm just being honest. Hopefully, this won't happen again. At the museum. It's been forever since I've been to a museum. You know... I'm a history buff. I love delving into the past. So museums are my jam. They're pretty fun, aren't they? Absolutely. Check out this drum. Wow, it's huge. I can't figure out how our ancestors created something so beautiful. Hey, hands off. There's a sign. Do not touch the artifact. This is an antique, incredibly valuable, and needs to be treated with care. Oops, my bad. I didn't notice the sign. No worries. Generally, in museums, you're not supposed to touch the real artifacts. Definitely. It's so beautiful and detailed. Exactly. They put a lot of effort into it. True. Oh. There's a documentary screening about our city's history this afternoon. Want to go? Sure, that sounds great. I'll learn a lot about history today. Awesome. We can watch it together. I'm so excited about this film. Me too. I've never watched a documentary before. Really? Yeah, this will be my first time. It's fascinating, trust me. This is going to be such an eye-opening experience. At the airport. I'm so excited for this trip. Hey, I can't remember if I brought my passport or not. Are you kidding me? You can't get on the flight without it. 
I thought I brought it with me, but now I have no clue where it is. Is it in your pocket? No, it's not there. What about your suitcase? Let me check. Oh, found it. Ooh, lucky. Yeah, I've been so forgetful lately. You really should be more careful. I know. Are you hungry? We haven't eaten anything. I am. We still have time before the flight takes off. Let's head over there for some breakfast. Okay, I'll have a sandwich. Did you hear that? Yeah, our flight is delayed for an hour. That's too long. I hate waiting. It's so dull. But there's nothing we can do now. Well, guess we'll have some extra time for some coffee. That sounds good. We woke up so early this morning to be on time, and now the flight's delayed. Maybe it's because of the bad weather. Maybe. At the library. Good morning. How may I help you? Hi. I'd like to return this book and borrow a new one. May I see your library card, please? Sure. Here it is. I'm sorry to inform you that you're overdue in returning this book. It was due on the 16th, and today is the 18th. Oh, I completely forgot about that. I've been swamped with assignments and must have overlooked the return date. I understand. There will be a fee for the overdue book. How much will that be? The overdue fee will be 5% of the book's value, so you'll need to pay $10. All right. So I can still borrow a new book, correct? Yes, that's correct. I'd like to borrow the Encyclopedia and Dictionary. Okay. How long would you like to borrow it for? One week, please. Certainly. Just remember, the due date for returning the book is the 25th of this month. Got it. I won't make this mistake again. Here's your book. Thank you very much. I'm also interested in upgrading my library card to VIP. With that, I can borrow more books at once and for a longer time, right? Exactly. The fee to upgrade from a standard card to a VIP is quite reasonable. That's great. How can I get a VIP card? First, fill out this form. Your request will be processed next week, and maybe the next time you come in to return a book, you'll have a VIP card. Thank you so much. I'll fill out the form right away. At the post office. Hello. Good morning. How can I assist you today? I'd like to inquire about a parcel. May I have more details, please? I'm waiting for a parcel from a friend in Russia. She sent it last week, but I haven't received it yet. I see. Do you have the parcel number? I can check the status of your parcel for you. I only have a picture of the receipt. Is that okay? Could you show it to me? Sure. Here's a photo of the receipt my friend sent me. Let me take a look. Thank you. All right, I found it. Is the sender Emily and the receiver Lucas? That's correct. The system indicates that your parcel is at the post office and is expected to be delivered to you today. Oh, really? 
Yes. Due to the high volume of orders and parcels during the holiday season, there might have been a delay in delivery. I apologize for any inconvenience. No problem. I was just concerned that the parcel might be lost. No need to worry. It should arrive today. Thank you. I'll head home and wait for the delivery. If you encounter any issues, please don't hesitate to contact our hotline number. We'll assist you as quickly as possible. Thanks for your help.